We're to meet up with the scouts at Port Zexon. I'll finish this quick. Not even worth my time. What's the matter, Lafayette? You look like you're not feeling well. Doesn't he always? You can stay out of this. You're a demon swordsman. Aizen is a cursed Moloch. Magilu is a bizarre witch. But... what am I? <laughs> Turning existential here. You're Velvet's tool and emergency rations, aren't you? That's what Lady Teresa called me too. A tool... But... I'm alive! Ah, uh, I get it. You're starting to wonder what your place in the world is. In that case, there's only one answer. You have to decide it. Huh? It's all up to you. It depends on what you want. That's what it means to be alive. You control the rudder of your life. My life... Doubts are okay, too. They're just further proof you're alive. I'll protect you until you find your answer. All right. I don't really understand. But thank you. Pretty, pretty words and all. But take care who you listen to, kid. Demons and Reapers, remember? I hear there's a wicked witch about, too. Get going or get left behind. Ah! We risk the wrath of the revenging reprobate! For now, let our rudders take us forward! Did the Sylph Jay reach your men? Yeah, they're scouting the checkpoints. They're not back yet? No, but they won't be long. Let's rest for a bit. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. We'll rest until the scouts are back then. No way! You managed to get some? Shh! Idiot! Not so loud! Behold, the finest drink there is! Ilyanya Red! If Benwick and the others find out we have it, they'll drink the whole thing! Wait, you didn't tell them about it? Of course not! Those guys couldn't care less what they stuffed down their gullets, as long as it gets the job done. The subtle notes of this exquisite libation would be lost on those louts. Well said. We'll have to hide the bottle until we can get our hands on some. Heh. <laughs> Leave that to me. Wow. Talk about oblivious.
There we go. Fully stocked and ready to sail. Great. We set sail the moment the scouts get back. Stay here and be ready to go at a moment's notice. Aye, aye. There's no telling what'll happen at the Empyrean's throne. Be ready for the worst. Is there something worse than being around you, first mate? <laughs> Just be ready. Aye, aye, aye. Anything goes wrong, send a Sylph J, and we'll come running. Be ready for the worst, huh? the kindest girl alive. An apple. Would you like one? This time I want you to crow like a No, thank you. Miss, are you really planning to fight Artorius? Well, the boy did ask me so sweetly. But, but you'd have no chance! Are you defying me? Did the old man give you orders? Then you're coming with me. If things get too hot, we can run. And if we die, then... That's that! I know! You're a quick one, little Bienfu. But I do hope you'll struggle as long as possible. I need you around for when I'm bored, after all. Is it good? It's tart, and yet sweet. No thanks. I wouldn't be able to taste it anyway. Oh. You sure like the sea? I... I'm afraid of the sea. The waves. Sharks. All the strange fish. But at the same time, it's huge and full of wonder. When I let myself think about what might be over the horizon, it's exciting. My brother. He loved the sea, too. Your brother? Really? He'd sit on the cape, just staring at it. I told him he'd catch cold in that ocean wind, but he never listened to a word I said. Your way of looking at the world is so much like his. I wish... I wish I'd bought him that compass. I wish we could have traveled together, like he wanted. Hey! The scouts are back, everyone! Lafisat, you know you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I... I'm going with you, Velvet. I see. You say he was using a pendulum? Aye, sir. And he blasted all the inspectors. I think he'd be a match for even the captain. Thank you. I'll look into this for myself. Hold it. What's going on? The Exorcist inspection team was attacked by a pendulum-wielding Moloch. 
The same type of weapon was found at the place the captain vanished from. And so you think the attacker is the one who took the captain? I don't know, but this can't be coincidence. Eifried is in the custody of exorcists. Why would they attack their own? What will you do? One of your keys is running off. I'm going after him. If they're already in disarray, causing more confusion will only benefit us. Pandemonium! My favorite! Eisen sure picked an inconvenient time to run off, though, didn't he? I can't blame him. He's got his own purpose. Good, whoever you are. I'm Aizen, the Reaper, and Eifried's first mate. A buddy of Eifried's? Oh, this'll be too good. So you are the one who took Captain Eifried from us. Oh yeah, that's the spirit, pal. Aizen, calm yourself. He's a Moloch, and he's against the Abbey. If we work together, we can pass the barrier. Don't give me your peacemaking crap. I'm settling this my way. Right here, right now. Stay out of this! I see. Well, two can play at that game. I'll handle this in my way. I'll beat you both until you're helpless. Then open that barrier. Why does it have to be like this? Oh, be quiet and help, Velvet. Otherwise, she'll bite our heads off. True. Forgive us, Aizen. Yeah. <laughs> You're a treat, you know that? So, what's your plan after you dodge through this barrier? Kill the shepherd. Damn, that's a new one. She's dead serious. All right, all right. You won the fight. What do you want me to do? Are you ready, my merry little Malakim? Now, line up before the barrier. Oh! Rest is up to you. I just want to see the panic on the exorcist's faces. Hold it. I still have questions for you. That's enough for now, Aizen. If you persist, one of us will end up dead. <clears throat> Who are you? Tell me. Zavid the Whirlwind. A fighter, nothing more. The barrier is gone. I won't stop you from going after him. No. I walk with you. Besides, Melchior is still my surest link to Eifried's whereabouts. <laughs> Could have saved a lot of trouble if you'd listened to me from the start. If I had good judgment, I wouldn't be where I am in the first place. You really are a fool. Sorry. About earlier. The fight, you mean? Don't worry about it. I'll hate you until I'm in the grave, though. Ugh. A jest. I just... I didn't know what I should do. It's fine to take your time to decide. 
But as with everything, the choice is ultimately your own. And if your choice leads to killing me, I won't complain. Yeah. But by the same token, it might end up with me killing you. Yeah, I guess so. Ugh, I talk too much. That's the Veed bastard's got me all riled up. The guards are all Malakim. They really do keep humans away from here. But why build a new temple out here? The Shepherd could build in the capital just as easily. This place... You feel it too? There's... powerful energy flowing underground. Right. This is a focal point of the Earth Pulse. The natural energy of the land. The perfect spot to worship Enominat. Hmm. <laughs> or to attack him. I thought I ordered no one to enter. F forgive me. I would not have intruded, but there was an incident at the villa in Logres. Eleanor, where are your mother kin? They... they were eaten by the left arm of a demon. Velvet. What? You know of her? She was a student of mine. So she has bested Oscar, Teresa, and now you. Lord Artorius, I ask that you grant me fresh Malachim. I vow to destroy that demon. You are overcome with emotion. Will you fight a demon with your hatred? P please beg you to forgive my foolishness. She broke the resolve of even an exemplary disciple like you. My lord, if I may, there is but one thing I must ask. Why is there a giant demon held captive at the villa? Entry to that place is forbidden to all but legates, Eleanor. It was restrained by a Moloch barrier. How could such a monstrous thing like that be held in the capital? Eleanor... Why is it you think that birds fly? Huh? It's... so... they can hunt and catch prey, is it not? <sighs> you are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. <sighs> so Velvet is coming. The ties that bind us must at last be severed. Our fighter doesn't seem to be hiding anywhere nearby. I sensed him rush away with great speed! Zavi the Whirlwind, huh? He was tough. He seemed to know Eifried, too. What's the story there? I don't know. Ask him. He used a pendulum as a weapon. When we first met Aizen, he said something about a pendulum, didn't he? It was the only clue he had in his search for Eifried. I'm surprised at how far he's come on something so vague. Does Savid have something to do with Eifried's disappearance? I don't think this Savid is a killer. I didn't feel it in him at all. I have a feeling we might cross paths again. He... didn't seem that bad to me. Yeah, he seems like a guy who would be hard to hate. Hate him or not, if he gets in our way, he's in for a beating. Now that's what a killer looks like! <laughs>
worth my time. What was that? Some sort of contrivance using Moloch arts. Probably part of their security system, I'd say. Obviously. We should keep our eyes open for any more surprises. They were nothing. Come on, put up some fight, okay?
Is it now, Aizen? Hmm. I feel like whatever you did caused some sort of change. Let's just pray they can't change it back anytime soon. I'll pass on the praying. I've come here to make a mess of this temple, remember? Ooh, you've got spunk. I like that. As long as you know what you're doing, then. Stop fooling around. 